What's going on guys, it's Pat Patio, and I'm making a video on how to get Android 4.4 .4 KitKat on your Google Nexus 7 2013 model. This is only for the Wi-Fi version, not for the LTE version. So, this is just for the Wi-Fi version, so make sure that you have the right one. Um, as you can see, this one doesn't have the, the micro sim card slot so that's how you can tell but anyways so you will need to go to this website which I have linked in the description and you are going to download the ROM as well as the Google Apps which you need and it has instructions on how to um, and how to flash it. So, and this is Peer ASP Build for Flow, which is the code name for the Nexus 7. And this is based on, of course, what a 4. So, this is not a official ROM by Google. So, make sure that um, I'm not responsible if you brick your device or if anything goes wrong with your device. This is not a, a official ROM since Google is releasing it in the coming weeks. But if you want to get it early, like I do, um, just download the two files. Here is the, um, here's the ROM file and here is the gapps zip. Both these are in zip format so once you have that I put it on the internal storage and downloads folder for easy um, access and let's go over to our Nexus 7 and just a side note your Nexus 7 must have an unlocked bootloader as well as it has to have TWRP. So, I'm just going to reboot into recovery. It's going to reboot into the TWRP recovery. So let me bring the camera down a little bit. Okay. So once we are in here, we are going to flash the um, build, which I put in the downloads. So we're going to flash this, I'm going to add another zip, and we're going to flash this. Swipe to confirm flash. and it is going to start flashing and I already made a full Nandroid backup of my tablet so this is recommended just in case if you want to go back to Android 4.3 when the official um, when the official update comes out And it looks like it is installed, so we are going to wipe and back and again reboot and let's see and we are booted up and as you can see we have the 
new um, different battery icon so we're going to set this up I'm going to enter my password Okay, so connected, and this is just a sec. Got Google. I'm going to say yes. I'll just sign in. No, actually, I'll turn this down. And that gives me an option when I send in, back up and restore, location, communication. I should select that. See how it belongs. And setup complete. So, we are going to... Um, I don't know which one it is. Um, this looks to be the old launcher. So, try this, maybe, I don't know, I have no idea which is the, which launcher I use, but, I don't know. Um, and we have Google Apps, so we have the Play Store, and let's go to Settings about tablet and there we go it shows android 4.4 .4. so we're going to tap and there we go there we have our little android 4.4 .4 screen <laughs> this is pretty nice um let's see here we have tap and pay pay with just a tap we could learn more. Um, home launcher. Um, and yeah, this is Android 4.4. .4. As you can see, we have also as well printing. No services installed. Um, but this is Android 4.4. .4. I don't think the launcher is the same though. Um, we have the camera app, which the camera doesn't work on this ROM. Um, go to Play Store. We have the new version of the Play Store. And it looks like it's gonna download these Google apps. So, yeah, guys, it's Android 404 KitKat. It's not the official version, though. That's why some things are um, missing, such as the launcher. But there we have the new little icons. Um, and I, I don't believe the wallpapers are on here. I don't think so though. Um, let's see. So we don't have the wallpapers. But anyways, um, this is Android 4.4. .4. So yep, we got it. So Thanks for watching guys, and since this is not the official, I will be flashing back to 4.3, but yeah guys, it's how to get Android 4.4, .4, so thanks for watching, and peace out guys.